Last week, a new study about sleep and dementia caused a bit of a splash. Apparently, if you get six hours sleep or less, you're at 30% increased risk of developing future dementia, which sounds pretty scary. But before we lose any more sleep over it, let's take a closer look at the research. 8,000 civil servants volunteered to be part of a long-term study back in the 1980s. At age 50, they were asked, how many hours of sleep do you have on an average weeknight? 40% were classified as short sleepers, getting six hours sleep or less. 45% slept for seven hours, and they're the normal group we're comparing to. And 15% were classed as long sleepers, who got eight hours sleep or more. Researchers followed everyone up for a whopping 25 years and checked in the medical records to see who developed dementia. Over time, 521 of those initial 8,000 people went on to develop dementia. So that's 6.5% or six and a half in every 100 people. So of the seven hour sleepers, 6% went on to develop dementia and of the short sleepers, 6.7% went on to develop dementia which doesn't look like a very dramatic difference, but it was statistically significant. But researchers then went back and looked at people who'd reported their sleep, not just at age 50, but also at age 60 and 70. And then they were able to classify people into persistent short sleepers, who consistently slept for six hours or less, versus persistent normal sleepers, who stuck to that seven hours, versus everybody else who changed their sleep patterns. And what they found this time is that, again, there was a significant difference. So 5.3% of the persistent normal sleepers developed dementia, whereas 7.6% of the persistent short sleepers developed dementia. And that's where the 30% increased risk comes from. I sometimes hear that statistic and think, oh, crikey, that must mean 30% of short sleepers develop dementia. That is not the case. It's simply the difference between those two groups. So why is this study special? Other than the fact that it comes from my former home at UCL. Well, several studies in the past have found links between both short and long sleep and increased risk of cognitive decline. But they had a shorter follow-up and it wasn't clear whether actually the early onset of dementia was causing disruption in the sleep-wake systems of the brain. Because there was no dementia present at age 50, and it was a super long follow-up, this study adds weight to the theory that it's actually short sleep, which is increasing vulnerability to dementia. And this makes sense. We know that sleep is really important for memory consolidation. There have also been imaging studies which have shown that during deep sleep in particular, the gaps between the brain cells widen and you get these pulses of electrical activity which allow the brain to flush out toxic proteins. Short sleep is also linked to inflammation which increases the risks of atherosclerosis that causes heart disease and can cause similar problems within the brain. What we don't yet know is whether you can intervene at age 50, 60 or 70 to reverse this risk of cognitive decline. But in some ways, I don't think we need to see that study to know that sleep is incredibly important for the way that we feel. Everybody has the odd poor night of sleep here and there, including me. But if you've been struggling with poor sleep for weeks, months or even years at a time, please don't suffer in silence. Effective treatments are available. And remember that no matter how much sleep you get, there are lots of other ways to protect your brain health. So reducing stress, not smoking, drinking in moderation, sticking to a healthy diet, and plenty of regular exercise. Thanks for listening and sleep well.